You know, the, 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 the cheat code was James Brown. Well, that's my man. Yeah. That's that's the father. Like Sex Machine. That's the father. Sex I, Machine. I, I, the brother, where I get that first repertoire records that I play is from, I heard Sex Machine when it was a place called the Rat Hole over on 3rd Avenue. Yeah. Was that a nice place to go, yeah, man? Not, <laughs> James Brown. James Brown. James Brown. James Brown. James Brown. Now, baby, give it up. Ha. Turn it loose. All right. Ha. All right. Look here. of music around today, especially things like hip-hop and Run DMC and the Beastie Boys? Well, those are poor copies, uh, well, I'm not saying poor copies, but they're, they're copies of what they thought I was doing in the 60s, like Let the Brother Rap. Me, the brother rap. What they're doing is things I did years ago. Do the front, you do the freak bank, you do the bump, and when the sucker MCs try to prove a point with Treasure's Trio, or with a serious joy, they from sun to sun, and from day to day, I sit down and write a brand new rhyme. But see, rap music is kind of a variation, I mean, kind of a, it's like the end of a James Brown song, what we would do at the very end. I got a woman who knew that boot. good God, I got a woman First MC, boss. The first B boy as well. The first hip hop. Can't pass the people, can't pass the hit man. Nobody to me has ever come with that type of soul and strength since James Brown. You know, I mean, he's another one that has an authentic strength that is everlasting, and nobody in all these years has been able to top it. His lyrics. His, his moves, everything about him was hip hop. Entrepreneur had his own record company, production company, all that. And that caused people to mimic him and imitate him. And that started the first MC rhyme. Stomp your feet huh? in the jungle, brother. Huh? Clap your hands. Huh? Huh? Stomp your feet. Huh? When it, music was just, it was slamming. <laughs> I was trying to think about what would be, uh, I guess, synonymous with a cool herc party. It would, it would have to be James Brown. Uh, okay. Clap your hands, stomp yeah. your feet. It wasn't, no, it wasn't it. a cool herc party. Without exactly. What singled out Herc as a DJ? gonna have to cut this short. I can't compete. Unless I'm like, yo, you got the peach. We got a break to peach. I don't want to do that. No, in my opinion, when in a b-boy battle, it should be James Brown. In a party, break to anything you want. But we have a problem when you break to reggae or when you break to R&B. You know, there's a certain way to do it. If, if it's up to you as a creative person, we can't tell you what to do. In my opinion, it was done to break beats. Breaking. We break on the break. But there's a lot of um, hip-hop music. I'm not going to say rap. Let's be real. Rap music is different from hip-hop music. DJ Premier, that's hip-hop. He's doing break beats on the drum machine. You understand? Pete Rock, that's hip-hop. I say break to all of that. But some of the 
other sounds that don't have the same James Brown funk does look a little weird. To, but that's opinion. As a dancer, do whatever makes you feel good, you know? But um, I generally say keep it with the, with the James Brown break. Okay? Our main influence was the good foot. James Brown doesn't even know the effect that his music and style of dance had on people in the Bronx. He was probably inspired by people he saw, tap dancers. Them tappers back.